I am Jessica Echampon and this is Graphic Online's News in Brief, brought to you by... Have you thought of having access to your news at any time and anywhere? Graphic Communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form. Simply download the Graphic News Blast from Google Play Store on your Android and App Store on your iOS device and get your digital news from your favorite daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, graphic showbiz, junior graphic and graphic sports. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. In the big issue. Uh, register that we used to vote, I think, two presidents for John Mahama and then for Akufadu. So if they didn't find any fault in it the first time, I don't see the reason why we should waste taxpayers' money to go and do a new one. I think it is good uh, in the sense that um, we will be able to enroll new um, voters on the, on the register. And to other stories, Sami Jainfi granted bail. Health officials testing suspected case of coronavirus in Ivy Coast. Darcy Broti Boatin on 50% plus one constitutional interpretation of presidential election winner. And Basketball fans mourn legendary Kobe Bryant killed in helicopter crash. The National Communications Officer of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, Mr. Sambi Jainfi, has been granted a police inquiry bail after he was arrested Monday morning in relation to a complaint of publication of false information on Facebook. He was picked up by plain clothed police officers from the premises of UTV, an Accra based television station. He was at a TV station as a studio panelist on a morning program, but whilst walking towards his vehicle after the program, the police officers approached him, showed a warrant, and whisked him away to the CID headquarters. He was, however, later granted bail with two men standing in as sureties. The arrest was in connection with a complaint filed by Nana Bidu to Asante last year on the alleged publication of false information. The cybercrime unit of the CID in December 2019 extended an invitation to Mr. Jane Fee over the alleged cybercrime offense, but when he failed to report, the police effected the arrest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Health officials are dealing with a suspected case of coronavirus in Ivory Coast the country's health ministry has announced. An unnamed student who returned to Ivory Coast from Beijing on Saturday is undergoing further tests after showing flu-like symptoms. Meanwhile, the Ghana Health Service says it has intensified measures at screening travelers into Ghana from all entry borders. This, the Ghana Health Service says, was in line with a directive by the World Health Organization to countries to strengthen prevention and control measures for the virus. The Omahini of the new job in traditional area that Sibra Professor Oti Boatin has described as erroneous a widely held view that the number of votes needed to determine a winner in a presidential election is 50% plus one vote. The statistician and emeritus professor said that viewpoints by many stakeholders was wrong, a constitutional misrepresentation and mathematically incorrect. Speaking to Daily Graphic in an interview, Dasibre Professor Oti Boatin, who is a former government statistician and the first African chairman of the United Nations Statistical Commission, said in the first place, 50% plus one vote is mathematically incorrect. Since it has two non-additive components, the first being a percentage and the second being a natural number. Dasibre Oti Boatin said, if such outright constitutional misrepresentation was allowed to persist, especially in an election year. It had the potential to fund the embers of conflict, which could ultimately destroy the country's hard-won peace and stability. He wants the interpretation to remain simply as the winner should obtain over 50% votes. There is currently a debate on whether or not a new voter's register is needed. Graphic Online spoke to some citizens on the streets in Accra and this is what they had to say. It will be very bad for the EC to um, compile a new voters register because uh, looking at the costs involved in this, it will be like uh, the country will be losing a lot and uh, 
if this voter's ID card is not uh, the ID cards that the voters use in uh, voting for the uh, MCs and the DCs, if it is not accurate or good, if the voter register is, uh, is not good, then why do they use this for that one? I don't think it's a nice idea. We all have our names with the EC already, so I see no reason why they should uh, conduct new register for uh, eligible voters. I think it is good uh, in the sense that um, we will be able to enroll new um, voters on the, on the register. The death of U.S. basketball legend Kobe Bryant through a helicopter crash in California has sparked an outpouring of grief from fans around the world. Bryant, 41, and his daughter Guyana, 30, were among the nine killed when the aircraft came down in Calabasas. There were no survivors from Sunday's crash, which happened in foggy weather. Brian, a five-time NBA champion, played for the LA Lakers throughout his career and is considered one of the greatest players in the game's history. Tributes from celebrities, politicians and fellow sports stars have been pouring in, many expressing shock at his sudden death. Moments of silence have been observed at basketball games across the U.S. Hello. <laughs> For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh, follow us via Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Jessica Echampon. Thanks for watching.